Alrighty, hopefully everybody can hear me well here. Let's double check the audio. Oh, Alright. Alright, uh, there's a lot of messages. I'll just start from what I see here. Hello, Adrian. Uh, Jalen, Standalow Gaming, Sammy, Scion, Carlos, H. Palm in February, Evan, Samurai, Ducks are awesome, Fluky, Adrian. Uh, for those of you that are currently in the meet and you're, you know, you're next to your car or whatever, if you're also watching the stream, if you want, in the chat, you can say, well, when I come up to your car, or when your car's coming up, since there's like a little bit of, you know, stream delays, like five seconds behind or so, um, you can say... I'll uh, just put, like, for example, Red Banshee from Blank Movie. Let's like, just do that if, if you want. I, I already figured out which where all the cars are from, but if you want to do that just so people can see your YouTube name and your car and your PSN and all that. Yeah, Eleanor is in here. Got a good variety here today. What's up, Awesome and Savage? So you, get, you guys voted for this. So you guys voted for this, this car meet theme, and this is what we have here. What's the color of the car of February? I'm not sure when we get to it. I guess I can try to guess. What's up? What's up, dude? What's up, can I get? What's up, Darkos? Drips? Ethan? What's up, Jake? What's up, everybody? So for this meet, uh, after the car meet, we're also going to have um, car meet... Oh, car... car oh, well, movie-themed races. So it's not going to just be random races, except for the last one, because we always do long haul at the end, but... We will have some uh, movie-inspired races as well. <clears throat> so stay tuned for that. The races are going to be pretty fun as well. Why can't I join without the community? Because I send the instructions on how to join in the community. Also reminders um, when I sometimes when I have to clean up the crew because we get to a thousand members max. I'll put in there um, that you know, how to avoid being kicked. To send me a message that you're still active or something like that. Um, reminders. Sometimes I put like the the car meet. Sometimes I put like a, a diagram of how to park. Different things like that. It's mainly information on the car meet. So you definitely want to be in the community because if not, you're gonna be kind of lost most of the time. Wasn't able to join. Yeah, this session fills up fast. Today's session filled up in about a minute. One of my moderators, he was he joined at nine one minute after I sent him the invite, and he didn't get in because there was it filled up. Every single person filled up and. Even though Lobby said there's 16 people, there was 30 people in the queue, or 29 or whatever. So, I mean, it was pretty intense today. I think today's the fastest people have ever joined. Alrighty, so, what well, movie cars are in GTA? There's a lot. <laughs> Quite a few. Even Rockstar themselves, they even... I mean, the Arena War update is pretty much a Mad Max DLC. <laughs> if you really think about it. You had kicked me from the crew. I still left it in the community. Read the past messages, and I left them in there. And when I was telling people that to message me that they're still active, because I don't know if you're still active or not, because you reached a thousand members, which is the max Rockstar allows you to do. So I had to figure out a different way to make space for new people that are still active and people, not people that have haven't played GTA in two years and they're in the crew. Thank you, Junior. Appreciate it. All right, Nightbot is working perfectly. All righty, so I think we can go ahead and start. Oh, I guess I'll just start here. <clears throat> so for those of you currently in the car meet, please get somewhat near your car so I can identify your car with your name. If you want to um, tell me your car, like I said before, you can say, you know, Red Banshee, for example, from, from Blank Movie, if you want to do that. So. My car here is the white Supra. I did this one from the Fast and Furious 7 movie, The Ending, When I See You Again. Hopefully that gives a little bit of a hint. I got the uh, four paw plate there. Shout out to Edub because he helped me get the one with the with the space, which Rockstar patched that method now, unfortunately. But that's the one I based it off of. Most people do like the first Fast and Furious movie Supra, so I want to do something a little different. Next up, we got Edub. He did a red banshee with the uh, chrome wheels. So Edub says he made this one similar to the uh, the Tokyo Drift opening scene with the red viper. If you guys remember that scene where it raced the um, what was the name of that one car? I forgot. The, the tan classic muscle car. I forgot the name of it. But when it raced that one, he said it could also be the Drake and Josh movie viper because the two cars are identical. So <laughs> I guess it can kind of be both. Love the banshee. Such a good looking car. I love these. Next up, Light TH. He's got a Runer 2000. This one's pretty obvious. A kit from Knight Rider. 
Love these. Dedicated. I mean, he even got the plate and everything. Awesome. Love these. Such cool cars. Okay, next up we got... We got uh, Castor Biozo. He's got the Dumb and Dumber uh, Lamborghini Diablo. That's awesome. Got the stock wheels right with the tad interior. Diablo plate. Super sick. I love this. Awesome. Next up, uh, GD Friend. He said this was from um, uh, Johnny English uh, Returns or whatever. The second Johnny English movie. So I didn't. I, I forgot that this was even in the movie. It was a this. It's a Zach Red Aston Martin. Awesome, good job. Pretty much a one on one copy. It looks great. Tan interior, got it all complete there. Nice Susie. Bandit was the one with Kit. We got a five euro super chat from Zaffer Lights. He says, "Hope you have a good Christmas." What up, coming in a car? Most likely looking for. Thank you, man, Zaffer Lights. Appreciate it. He says, "What up, coming? Uh, are you most likely looking forward to? What car am I looking forward to in real life?" I don't know. I mean, I, I really want to see what the mid-engine Corvette Z06 looks like, the C8. Waiting for that, because the Stingray doesn't really do it for me too much. Alright, next up, we got the Spinning Man. <laughs> we got Inevitable. He's got the uh, white Gondola Classic from Vanishing Point. Super awesome. Quite exhaust. I should have done the box exhaust, but I mean, close enough. Got the similar wheels. Very awesome. I actually brought this car first, but then I changed it to a different one because <laughs> I saw there was a there's like two here. I would have been the third. So I wanted to think a little different. Thank you, Mikey Houston. Appreciate it. Awesome. I love that movie. We got Skirt Daily. Um, I didn't know what this one was from, but then Edub told me, and I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. That kind of makes sense. So he tried to make it kind of similar to the Hobbs and Shaw blue McLaren 720S, even though the one GCA is kind of similar to a 570S. But I mean, this is the closest you can get with what we have in the game. Oh, look at his plate. Look at that. If you were uh, if you were still wondering, there you go. He kind of covers it right there. Shaw. Awesome. Super cool. The full-on tints there. Awesome car. I love that. We got Ford Crazy with, in my opinion, the most creative car here. He did the DeLorean from the third Back to the Future movie. If you remember, they put the, uh, the white wall tires on it because he goes back to the... I think it was the... 80s? Wow, no, he wanted to go back to the 80s or something, and then there Doc puts these tires on it because the old ones were bad or something. Um, super cool, and they got the outfit and everything. Marty McFly. Just amazing job. Out of time plate. I mean, he went the whole nine yards. <laughs> he really, he really went, I mean, he went to the extreme. Amazing job, man. We got Ultimate Savage, we got Smokey and the Bandit, Trans Am, love this, the stock wheels with the, uh, I mean, awesome choice here. Bandit, bandit plate, got the exhaust. Awesome, love these cars. Hop over the door here, there we go. Got the shaker hood scoop, got everything, very nice, love it. We got uh, Lewis, he's got the Need for Speed mo movie Mustang. Got the silver with the blue, the carbon roof, chrome dash VIP wheels, ducktail spoiler. NFS plate, awesome. Awesome, people are getting good, man, with the plates. I mean, they're really putting in a lot of effort. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. We got uh, Jared M. He got the uh, A-Team van, but I guess the classic one. With the, he used the Yuga Classic for this one instead of the Gang Burrito. Got the red wheels on there, very similar. The livery. Love these. Awesome. We got, uh, got that Fago. He's got the uh, monster truck from Mad Max. This thing looks sick. I didn't expect anybody to bring us, but he brought it. So awesome. It looks very cool. He made it almost identical. Leave it to Rockstar. I mean, they just keep giving us movie cars here and there. Just amazing. Not too many other uh, games do that. So it's kind of nice that, that Rockstar does stuff like that. We got, um, Prime with the uh, red Everon. He did it like the Top Gear. Um, Helix, Toyota Helix, awesome. Got the stock wheels on there. Got the dark tints, the ski rack. <laughs> Got the uh, boxes back there, super cool. Love this. Moving along, we got Solo Swag. He's got the uh, JB700. Now see, this is what I was talking about in my video. I can't tell if this is the W or the regular, unless I hop in it. Let's see if he has it unlocked, let's see. 
It's the standard. Okay, so you got the standard one, which I don't blame you. I'll probably do the same thing. I sold my W. I don't really <laughs> care too much for it anymore. Um, way overpriced, but awesome. Love this. Got the wheels. Color. Looks great. Next up, we got Playboy. He's got the uh, orange Supra from the first Fast and Furious movie with the livery, the chrome wheels, the green underglow. Got the carbon spoiler. Got the roll cage in there, side exhaust. Awesome. The hood. All the options there. Love it. We got uh, Omega Warrior. We got the Too Fast and Furious Skyline. Very popular car in GTA. Using the LG Retro Custom. Got the chrome wheels on there, custom tire lettering, carbon rear spoiler. Little carbon vortex generators there, blue interior, awesome. Now the yellow hustler Plex. Let me know which one that's from, please. Oh, oh, he already said it. American Graffiti. That was the movie. Nice. So you got Sir Plex with the yellow hustler from American Graffiti. That looks awesome. I love the wheel choice. Such a cool car. I love these. The engine option there. So much fun. These cars are just amazing. Hustler is a really fun car to drive to. Can I join? We're currently full. All the info's in the description if you want to join the next one. We got Nick Age Z06. He's got the uh, Black Imperator Mad Max. Love it. has got the guns on there. Nitrous bottle. The limo tents. Speed Freak plate. Nice. Awesome. I love these. Got G Gotti 94. Got the uh, white. A Cheetah Classic. This is from what? Is, this is from. What movie is this from? We're having a, a white Cheetah Classic. Having a little bit of a... What is, what is this from again? Any, anybody? <laughs> you should do a giveaway. I do giveaways when I do the... Uh, Wolf of Wall Street? No, that was a Countach. That's not... Miami Vice? Yeah, I think, yeah, Miami Vice. That's what it was. So, G. Gaddy, Miami Vice. Awesome. Love this. Got the vented hood there. With the uh, F40 style wheels there. Tan interior. Love it. Moving along, Oozfest, you got the Black Gang Burrito Van, awesome, full on, I mean, it doesn't get more similar than that, I love how Rockstar added this and made it part of the heist as well, love this, so cool. I think this is still the best vehicle in the Vans class, right, for racing, if I remember correctly? Rockstar never gave any love to the Van class again. <laughs> Next up, the Beast Boy Gamer, he's got the uh, White Gauntlet Classic, similar to the one from Vanishing Point. Good job, man. Absolutely love this. The wheels on there. Good job. Got the hood. Proper wheels with a tire lettering. Alloy. No rear spoiler. Can't really tell if he did the box exhaust or not from this angle. Looks like it. Awesome. Love this. Super cool. Lo really good movie as well if you haven't seen it. We got Great Daniel. Another Fast and Furious Super from the first movie. Got the black wheels though, so you want like a little bit of a twist with it. He didn't go full on 100%. Okay. Limo tint, orange interior, looks good. We got Camaro Man 2004. He's got the uh, Aston Martin from Spectre. He's got the suit and everything. Looks great. And it's funny because Rockstar named this car Spectre on top of that, so. <laughs> got this wheel stock wheels on there, looks amazing. Over a spoiler. Can't really see if he has a plate there. I think this wall's a little annoying sometimes, but it looks good. I like it. Very nice. We got that guy Surge. He's got the Rhapsody, the Pinto from Wayne's World. Awesome. Love that. <laughs> this is so cool. Um at the wheels, the flakes on the side. Very good job, man. It looks great. We got AJ Terminator, got the Red Tornado Custom from uh Christine. Awesome. Hopefully the Christie doesn't kill us off. <laughs> the red and white. You got oh man, the antennas. The white walls. Very good job, man. Looks really good. Next up, GD GD Frin. He's got the uh, the Luxo from the first Back to the Future movie. He's got the wheels on there, very similar. I feel the stock ones are a little more similar than the uh, custom lowrider ones he put on there, but looks good nonetheless. Got the ducktail spoiler on there, pretty similar, yeah. The burnout plate, tan interior, very nice. I love it. Can't go wrong with that. 
got Mike Spitfire. I think he tried to do the uh, Bullet Mustang. Yeah, they can tell by the wheels. Yeah, that gives it away. Got the Bullet Mustang. Awesome. Love this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why he went with the matte paint instead of the gloss paint. But the bullet plate. Oh, it's a really good one. I like this a lot. Very well done. The bullet plate and everything. Got sea bass. Got the Ghana 60 seconds Mustang in here. <laughs> got the black stripes. Oh, I like the wheel choice. Is pretty good. Got the. Oh man, it looks so good. Old timer plate. Got the uh, black windows. I really hope his plate says Eleanor better. Oh, old time. Oh, should have put Eleanor on there, man. You gotta go all the way. <laughs> we have February. Got the Cannonball Run black coat tosh, aka the Torero. Awesome. Got the stock wheels on there. The front spoiler. Got the big rear wing. Awesome. Looks great. We got GT Helix with a three Canadian dollar or oh, four Canadian dollars super chat. Do you want some new cars in GTA? Yeah, especially the GT40 is the car I want the most in the game right now. We got a uh, Walshy Dart. We got the JB700, the regular one. You can tell because the guns are put away. I mean, no, what am I saying? See, I'm getting, I'm even, I'm getting confused. Thanks, Rockstar. He's got the weaponized JB700 with the guns that are put away. Oh man. Without the, without the weapons. Weaponize without weapons. Thank you, Rockstar, again. You're, you're, you're the best. <laughs> the silver, the dark tins. Awesome. I mean, it is a lot cleaner with the with the guns, I will admit. Kind of dumb, like, you have to buy the weaponized one to not get the guns. Oh, Rockstar. Wonderful. Imperator? I think this person lagged out. Yeah, this person lagged out, unfortunately. If this was your Imperator from Mad Max, let me know. But obviously, I always have to pick my favorite. Um, my favorite, because... He did something I never would have thought anybody would do. He has the outfit, the plate, 100% Ford crazy. Congrats, man. Back to the Future Part 3 DeLorean. I mean, got the Marty McFly outfit, out of time plate. I mean, nobody could have done any better than that. Oh, Kibble Gaming was the one that had the Mad Max uh, Imperator, by the way. Thank you, Edo, for telling me. Good job, man. Second favorite? Oh, man, it's... 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 It's very difficult to pick my second favorite. The ones up there. Oh man. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Christine in the Terminator. Good job, man. Second favorite. I'm gonna go with Mike Spitfire. No, third favorite I should say. Mike Spitfire with the bullet Mustang. Mainly because you did the plate and the wheels. This actually looks very good. I might I might steal that from you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I might recreate that. Good job, man. All right, that was my top three favorites. Now what we're going to be doing is the uh, movie car me, well, movie themed races. I also put that together as well. So it's not just random races we're going to do now. They're also going to be movie themed. So uh, if you guys want to see that, that's what we're going to be doing right now. So the uh, movie car meet is now officially over, but now I'm going to be hosting the races, which is still part of the stream. So now I'm going to go ahead and start that up. Oh, sorry, Dub. Didn't mean to hit you there. So let's go ahead and start that up. Playlist. Playlist. Movie races. Alright, here we go. I got Cannonball Run. I got Gumball Rally. I got Vanishing Point Race. I got the Italian Job Race. I mean, I got some a decent variety in here. I'm sure many of you will enjoy. Alright. Invites being sent out now. This was quick. <laughs> what was quick? <laughs> so you said I can't do races as weaponized. Yeah, I know. Leave it to Rockstar. If you don't, you don't have the guns, and you still can use it in races. Really good job, Vince. Bro. Thanks, John Marks. Appreciate it. Squidward. What? <laughs> can I change cars if we can't do races? You, you, JB700 can't. The 700W can't do races even if you don't have the guns. It's really annoying. UNFS seed videos planned. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing them. I really want to put out the uh, FXXK and the P1 GTR, but obviously those cars don't have visual customization, so I'll 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 title it review instead of customization just so that I don't get messages from people asking. Hello, Squid King. You 
should give give away a shark card. Um, I don't I don't do that I don't I don't do that giveaway shark card stuff because I don't I don't really support shark cards to be honest. I mean I think Rockstar should really raise because right I mean if you guys kind of try to understand what I'm trying to say here. So let's go back to 2013, right? You can buy an adder for a million dollars, which back then in online that was the most expensive car in the game. And the best fastest supercar in a straight line. You can buy a shark car for 20 bucks and boom you have the car with plenty of money to spare it upgrades. Now fast forward to 2019, what you get for the $20 is still the same amount of money. And the fastest supercar now on a straight line or on a track, the Emirates, that's about three million dollars. So now you have to spend about fifty dollars <laughs> in real money to get the best car. I, I don't agree with that. I think they should increase the amount of money based on what you pay for a shark car. So if you're gonna adjust the inflation in GTA with making cars super expensive, then you you also have to adjust the inflation of your shark cars, if that makes sense. So that's my opinion on that. Okay, Cannabar only got a few spots open here. Oh, oh! I'm I, I, I this one was supposed to be sports classics. The second one was supposed to be super. We'll just do the the second one on sports classics. I got Cannonball Run one and two in here. It's starting. Do a live stream car show for Xbox. I don't do meets on Xbox because the the console. I tried at one point. I didn't really enjoy it. The their messaging app takes forever to load between chats. There, the there's a lot of delay on sessions and frame drops when you're riding fast in the city I just I really I really don't like that you know a good racing bike well the best one the all-rounder right now is the Shotaro as, a, as the all-rounder um, obviously you can if you do if you wheelie a lot just depends on the race you can keep up in a uh, in an SADRR I mean what am I saying in a um in a in a bad 801 i don't know i'm, I'm looking through supercars and i'm thinking supercar <laughs> i got my tourism i'm gonna do my xa21 racing panda do you play on pc too um no i don't, i i have it on pc i haven't really played that much on, on there even though the graphics are amazing but have f1 have an F1, what do you mean? F1, yeah, but th thank you for the two dollar, uh, well, two something super chat. I don't know what that is. What kind of currency? Up the price of products you need to pay, even the missions are the same pay. Yeah, just, I don't know. It's, they need to, yeah, they need to also increase how much money you get from stuff, but I guess that's what the businesses are for. What's your PS4 ID, Mike? It's at the top of the description. Oh boy, we got a ramp. Holy crap. Oh, big wreck. Big wreck. Oh my god. I've never seen so many flying supercars in my whole life. <laughs> Jesus. That person went the wrong way. NFS Heat 370Z. Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna land on the on the dirt. Please don't land on the dirt. Yep, yep, yep. I can still get on the highway though. You got kicked from the crew by accident. Send me a message and I'll get you back in. Uh, I did the, uh, I sweeped up inactive members um, on Friday, so yesterday. <laughs> I sent the uh, reminder a week in advance, but if you didn't see the PlayStation community reminders, then just send me a message. Rest in pieces, half the racers. Yeah. yeah, the ramps are really, really aggressive. I guess this is an older race. How do I join all the info in the description? You have 48 million on NFS seat, nice. What car would you use in GTA as 1970s Dodge Monaco? I don't even know what that looks like to be honest. I don't... I've never... Dodge Monaco? That doesn't ring any bells. I don't think I've ever seen a Dodge Monaco. Is there space? Uh, in the race we have 29 people, so there's one crew member spot open. Oh boy. It's funny, there aren't really too many supercars for movies. I guess the GCB can count when you try to do like what that guy did, the Hobbs and Shaw one. 
They do like the Reaper, like in Hypersport from the Fast and Furious movie where they jumped across the skyscrapers, I guess, kind of. I like your X8 so far. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Shout out to E-Dub, because uh, I really wanted a really nice silver color, and he was kind enough to, to uh, make me a modded silver one that I got to him from a gift cards to friends method. I'll be you an FS heat and the crew too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not. I haven't really gotten too good at. I mean, I'm decent at racing in that game. The online in the in the in Need for Speed Heat is really bad. Same same, same thing with the crew too. Monaco is the Blues Brothers. Oh, that one. Okay, Blues Brothers car. Jeez, these ramps are so steep. I'm gonna land here. No. Alright, we're good. We're good. Oh my god. Cars flying everywhere. What car is a Ford Torino and GTA? We don't have a Torino and GTA. I mean, the closest you can get to it is probably the Sabre Turbo, but that's a Chevelle. But that's the closest you're gonna get. Um, there's no Torino and GTA. There are no more XP. What do you mean? Another ramp now in the tunnel. Jesus. Oh, this car sounds so good in here. Let off the gas there. Oh my god. I love. I want to marry the sound, the sound of this car. <laughs> you ever do RP? What, what is? What is it? What do you role play? I don't. I don't really. No, not really. Oh my god. I'm reading the chat. I'm racing at the same time. You're doing your car reviews, customization. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh, look at that. We got a Need for Speed red coatings like right behind us. Nice. Oh, I could have gone around that. Oh, like I hit the sign. I'm going to land on this guy. Okay, we're good. We're clear. Clear. Do you have a McLaren and GTA? Yeah, I mean, I have a, I have all, all the all the Progen vehicles in GTA. How do I have a truck? 2020 Raptor. The uh, car, 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 4x4. That's the Raptor in GTA. By the way, you can hold the handbrake left to right. Oh, I know that. <laughs> I know that. But I mean, it depends on the. Because it depends on how high the jump is. Because since your wheels are still spinning in the air. If you do the handbrake thing in the air, you actually lose speed once you land. If you keep your wheels spinning and not touch the handbrake, you, you go a little faster once you land. You're, you're at a little bit of a higher speed. What money method do you use to get many cars? The Bogdan Heist Glitch method. Um, you can look it up on YouTube. There's like a hundred videos on it. I don't. I don't really care. I say it. I mean, it's not. People are like, oh, glitches. That is. I don't know. To me, it's, it's not really that big of a deal. It's not like if you're duplicating cars or something. I think that's that's really bad. But, I mean, if you're, you know, hints, hints, lagging on, every time you fail, you know, you get close to the finale of the heist, whatever. You know, you lagged out, quote-unquote. What kind of car am I driving? That's the XA21. Love this car. I went around that. When do you think they're adding the Charger Hellcat? I mean, it's not a matter of uh, when, I think it's a matter of if. <laughs> if that will ever happen, I don't know at this point. I think since we have the Gauntlet Hellfire, there's a higher chance of that happening, but who knows what Rockstar. I really, really want the uh, Jeep Trackhawk. I think that's a great, that would be a great addition to the game. That guy went off, rip. XA21 is a movie car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It has to be orange, though, but I, I see what you're referencing. <laughs> favorite favorite cars, it's really... Yeah, my favorite car in the game is Turismo more. I love that car. 35 out of 6, they were close. You can't hear anything, what do you mean? Oh, movies is... This, this XA21 is uh, not from any movie at all. I'm just, I just picked this one, but, I mean, if you want to pick something, I mean, it would, if I painted orange, that is from the James Bond movie, right? From uh, Spectre. So. What cars in GTA do you think sound the best? I'd say 2-1, number one for me, followed by the, um, I'm going to say the 
the uh, Coquette Blackfin. And then behind that, I'll say the Verlier. When's the Civic Type R coming out? I have, I have to look at the, uh, if you look on Foxy Snap's Twitter, you'll see he has pictures of the websites with all the cars on it. Um, those aren't release dates, those are just like better guesses on when we're gonna get it. Uh, the Civic, I can, I can try to pull it up right now, let me see. Let, let me, let me wait till the race is over <laughs> before I pull it up while I'm racing. And, and get a, a better estimation on that. Oh boy. Oh, there's a lot of cars. I'm breaking. Oh my god, they're all Kriegers up here. Have you guys seen that? Every single car up here is a Krieger. What is this? Hey, we got a Koenigsegg up here. Nice. Need for speed. Brakes, 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 brakes. And I failed. Bro, I, I take him that turn so many times in uh, that one race. What's that one race called? Um, The Commute. That one. And I, I've never... I never really messed that turn up, but I guess I'm going back to 2013. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to catch up now. We got 20 checkpoints left, maybe. Uh, what is the best car for the LSI drag race everyone does? What do you mean, like racing down the airport? What's the best car for that? I think the Cyclone is the best. We're talking about non-rocket powered. Actually, uh, scratch that. Scratch that, the Pariah. <laughs> the Pariah. Raya's really fast. What do you drive in real life? A Challenger Hellcat? You can check my Instagram for pictures of the car on there. Oh my god. That that ramp just, just said no. The ramp was like, nope, sorry. Your Hellcat versus my friend's wheelchair? What? Speaking of wheelchair, I was uh, uh, when I was in middle school, um... I was playing sports, I, I tore my ligament on one of my knees, and uh, I was in a wheelchair riding around in the high school, so it was a little easier for me to get around. And some of my friends, cause they, I was into cars, I've always been into cars. And one of the guys, he was a pretty funny guy in the middle school, he, he, he called me Hot Wheels. <laughs> this guy, man. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised I didn't blow up there. Yeah, I hit the bridge. The XX car is the fastest on flat ground. Yeah, it has to be. Well, actually, a Tesseract. Tesseract is faster on a perfectly flat sun prop. Yeah. What's your favorite classic car? In GTA or in real life? Now nah, I tore my hamstring in high school. Oh damn, man. Yeah, it's 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 a pain. What's your favorite car in real life? 1966 GT40 Mark II, and it's not because of the Ford vs Ferrari movie. I've I've, said, I've been saying that in streams since forever. I wish Rockstar could give us another Pagani, like a Zonda. Yeah, Zonda would be nice, but we have the Infernus, which has the back of a Zonda, kind of. But I, I really hope they give us a, you know, a dedicated Zonda. That'd be nice. Yeah, the Hell that yeah, thanks, mate. I love the Hellcat. It's, it's an amazing car. It's so comfortable. It's really fast. I love everything about that car. I really do. Fun fact, it, it, it up drove in last week. <laughs> He up came down, I let him drive it, he, he loved it. Oh no. Really? The creator of this... The creator of this race needs to, uh... Needs to retest this. No, he needs to retest it. <laughs> Turbo... No, oh, AJ! Oh, I've just... I've just... Anybody? Help. All wheel drive, save me. Please. Okay, there we go. Well then, the demon or the red eye? I think the red eye is a better car than the demon. The demon's just dedicated to drag racing. The red eye is a little more versatile. Do you want a Corvette Grand Sport? No, my dad has a Z06. Um, but we don't we don't have a Grand Sport. He used to have a Grand Sport, then he got the Z06. Or the vlogs that you yeah, know, I still I haven't had the time to make that channel. College has been killing me. To YouTube and college, I, I barely have enough time to do anything these days. You have a ZL1, yeah. I also have a ZL1. I don't like to say it because I don't want to sound like douchey. I got two cars, man. You know what I mean? But 
I usually just say the Hellcat, you know. <laughs> it's like the Bambushko. Yeah, that's a good plane. What's your major in college? The uh, well, business management is my major right now. I'm almost done. I got one semester left to get my bachelor's. So, um, I'll be done pretty soon, right? And then spring. C701. I respect the car. 150 grand, though? I think GM went a little overboard there. They should, that car should not have gone above 130 at the max, and that's, like, loaded. And, I mean, that's this 150 is just way too much. But they're 140... Eight or 147 loaded and put taxes on top of that. We're well into like 155 around there, one even close to 160 with dealer fees and all that. What cars have I owned? I've had a 50th anniversary SS Camaro before that, and then before the Hellcat, I had a Scat Pack. Uh, that one didn't last that long. <laughs> and before the 50th anniversary Camaro SS, I had a, a V6 Camaro. That was my first car. It was a 2012 V6 Camaro with like 80,000 miles and the fuel pump went out on me when I was driving in. I was stranded. Just fun times. Don't get a V6 muscle car. <laughs> okay, muscle. Do, do, do. Or sports classic. I don't know why I put it on muscle. Sports classic is for the next one after. Sports classics. Uh, invite crew members. So if those of you in the crew, make sure you're appearing online. You should receive an invite. And now the invite should send out a lot smoother because there's a lot less than active people in the crew. What car has the highest top speed in GTA? It depends on the surface, but let's just say you're riding around in the city, in the Italian GTO, because of the bump boost. Um, on a highway, the Pariah. What do you think of the Jeep SRT with the Trackhawk? That's a great, a great SUV. It's a hundred thousand dollars though. That's, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't see that's worth it. A hundred grand for a Jeep track, uh, you know, an SUV, a, a Grand Cherokee, pretty much, with a Hellcat motor. I don't think that's worth a hundred thousand dollars. I'd say no more than like. I mean, the demons, the demons were eighty four thousand when they came out. I mean, obviously dealers put markups on them and stuff, but I mean, what would you rather, guys? What would you guys rather own, a demon or a Jeep Trackhawk for the same price? I go with a demon. I don't know about you, but. Demon, exactly. Yeah, the problem with the Trackhawk is just the price. <laughs> Everything else about it is awesome. What car would that you would trade your Hellcat for? That, that's the one car I'm never selling at like 100%. I, got, I bought it used with 3,000 miles for 45 grand. I'm never selling that car. I can sell it right now for 50, so I'm, I, I have equity in it. I'm not getting rid of it. Okay. Uh, what car for this? Turismo. Yeah. We need Turismo. I want to pick a movie car. Turismo. I guess Torero from Cannonball Run, right? Torero it is. Oh, we could have done James Bond Rapid GC Classic. Dang it. How old am I? I'm 22 years old. What do you think? Mercedes Benz AMG GC3 S Coupe. I'm not really too much of a Mercedes guy. I'm not into German cars that much. I respect them and all that, but I'm not really into them that much. I love the BMW M2. I think that's an amazing car. And the AMG two-door Mercedes, that's a, I love that car as well. The C63 AMG, it's a good car. I, I actually raced one of my buddies. He has one with a tune on it. I raced someone with the uh, Hellcat on the highway, and I wrecked him. <laughs> he, he jumped out on me, and I reeled him back in and passed him. <laughs> Pretty funny. Take a stock Shelby. A stock Shelby GT500 can beat your Hellcat. The new GT500, the new one, the 2020. That thing is fast. If you see any videos on it? It runs tens in the quarter mile stock. That car is a monster. Yes, that will beat a Hellcat. <laughs> no questions asked. It has more horsepower. It's lighter. Has a dual clutch automatic. There's no question. Does, does my plate say "hit me" on it? <laughs> Jeez. What pushes you to keep going every day? I mean, I I, I really 
really enjoy YouTube and college itself. I mean, just a combination of everything. Um, YouTube has really been a big part of my life now for the, for the past four years. And, I mean, I started it off literally just uploading random 10-second clips of funny stuff happening in GCA with a built-in PS4 share recorder. And well, just for fun. I've always done it for fun. Obviously, now it's turned into something uh, I did not expect at all in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> but I am thankful for that from you guys. You'll start posting videos on your cars on YouTube. I know, I know, I, I really want to get into that. But it's just my, my time, I need more time. I think once I'm done with college, I'm going to jump on that. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be getting a real job as well. I'm not going to just be doing YouTube full time. It's not consistent income. Um, I want to have a very consistent and reliable income. And I don't think YouTube is that consistent and reliable. Oh my. There's a tree there. Nice. A tree stump. Yes. What college do I go to? That's a little a little too personal, man. <laughs> it's a university though. Oh my god. You think the Ocelot needs a performance SUV? Why not? What the F pace, I guess? Do they make an F pace R or something? No, I don't even know. Uh, I don't even really, I don't think they do. What's the ugliest car in real life? Uh, the Prius? <laughs> What's your favorite car in GTA Turismo R? Do you live in a dorm with somebody? No, no, I live at I, I live at home. I, I, you know, go to college. My college is like 30 minutes from my house. It's not, not that bad. Your favorite Annie Freeze? Oh my god. The kind that works, how's that? <laughs> what is your dream car? A 2005 Ford GT. That's my semi-realistic dream car. It's funny, I mean, so many YouTubers have been getting them now. It's like ridiculous. I I've I've had that car on my wall. You know, you know, everybody has like a poster car on their wall in their room. The 2005 Ford GT has been on my wall since 2004 when I saw it at the auto show. <laughs> it's still there, and that's, that will always be my dream car. Would you ever get a Honda Civic? Um, eh, not really. I think the Civic Type R's are actually pretty cool, but... I really don't like how it has three spoilers and three exhaust tips at the back. I think it's a little, a little overkill. But I mean, I, I, re I respect the car. Chris fixed dream car is a Hummer. Maybe it's an H1. I love the H1, the, especially the Alpha. Oh man, amazing, amazing. Will you ever get a Camaro? I have a Z01 right now. <laughs> 2017. What's your, what's your most favorite classic car? The GT40, oh, 1966, and a Torero that doesn't drive that good. <laughs> Have you seen the Hellcat Prius? Yeah, yeah, someone has like a wheelie at the drag strip or something, right? What car do you have in real life? A Challenger Hellcat and a Camaro ZL1. You should, should add a modern Camaro GTA. Yeah, they really need to. The GTX has a similar front end to the Camaro Z01, but it's not. It's still a Mustang at the end of the day. They should really give it a dedicated modern Camaro. That'd be really nice. New car's a Dodge SRT Hellcat. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, that's what I. Oh my gosh, that's what I have right now—a Challenger Hellcat. You like drop trucks? Not. I mean, I prefer lifted trucks. I think drop trucks are okay, but. Is there a car GTA that can get up very steep? What is that? Very steep hill from a stop. Um, what's the best one for that? I do my applicability testing. I think the best one for that is the. Let me think. I gotta think back to my testing. I know the half track is really good, but it starts going off to the sides. Um, I'm trying to think here. Uh, the Camacho is really good. But the best one I can't remember at the moment. The Desert Raid's really good too. 
I think the Kamasha is a little better from a stop. People donate to join. That's completely free. I don't charge anybody to join these streams or meets or anything. Do you play on PS4? Yep, PS4. You like the trophy truck? Yeah, the trophy truck's awesome. Very consistent off-roader. It says PS4 in the live stream title. What do you think about the Range Rover SVR? I think they're really cool. I'd rather have a Jeep Trackhawk, though. <laughs> I was thinking this the other day. I don't know why GM didn't make an Escalade V. They really need to do that. Maybe for the next model or something. Oh my. 11th place. Oh, there's a bunch of trees here. People can just join. Uh, if you want to join, you have to follow the instructions in the description. It's literally just one step. It's there. <laughs> What's the fastest car in GTA in a pariah on um, on the on a highway in the t GTO over uh, bumpy roads in the city? Like the straight thanks me plays. When you ever buy a truck, my dad has a Silverado High Country. I like it. Um, I mean, I guess I could say my my dream truck right now is the uh, the 2020 GMC um, Sierra AT4 pack. Love that truck. The 2500. Love that. The Charger Hellcat wide body. I think it looks really good. They need to make a red eye version. Like, they really need to. I, I'm they're pretty sure they will, but if, if they make a red eye version, I think that's the best Charger ever made. Minus a 69 Charger, of course. Oh, my, I can barely keep up with the chat today. You guys have got a lot of questions today. <laughs> Most of you. Uh, do, do, do. Am I your dad? Oh, my God. I'll do Dodge all day, every day, because I own an RT Durango. RT Durangos are nice. Nice one, man. I, I like that SUV. I need to put a range for GTA 6. Which company do you like best? Chevy, Ford, Toyota, or Dodge? Um, I'm going to say General Motors in general, because they have Cadillac. They have Chevy. You know, they have a nice variety. GMC, they have a nice variety. Dodge is just Ram, you know, Dodge, and... Pretty much it, and I guess Jeeps. The day Dodge makes a diesel or a Hellcat Jeep Wrangler, I may consider a Jeep. <laughs> if you got seven hundred million dollars, what cars would you buy? When real life, all of them. No, I'm kidding. But uh, I, I definitely, I'd buy a Le Mans winning GT40, a hundred percent, a real one. Then I'd buy. Then I'd buy. A, th then I would buy the fake one from Superformance, so I can actually drive it. <laughs> and um, what else would I? I would definitely get a Koenigsegg, Koenigsegg Era R, or RS. I guess a Pagani. I mean, a, a bunch of hyper cars. I guess and on some class, some very expensive classic cars. 69 Charger, too, that'd be nice. Fuck. Oh my god, so I can barely keep up with the chat. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry if I don't see your message in the chat. I'm trying my best. <laughs> uh, you heard of the Rolls Royce Cullinan? And yeah, I put that in one of my prediction videos, but we haven't gotten it yet, sadly. I thought that would have, you know, been in this update, but I guess not. And the, the original Casino update, too. Favorite Bugatti? The regular Chiron. Wildcard should fix the glitches in GTA Online. They they make they do patches every update. Alright, so we got vanishing points. Um unfortunately the creator of this race, he restricted the cars incorrectly. So instead of making it to where you can only pick the Gauntlet Classic, he waited so you could pick any muscle car except for the Gauntlet Classic, so <laughs> Good I don't know why he did that, but... Hmm. What car am I gonna pick? I guess I'll just go with a Dominator. Got the race car here. Pisswasser. Or Pisswasser. I do how you say it. Or, oh, wait. Need for Speed Mustang. That's where it's movie car meet, right? Need for Speed Mustang. There we go. The Trackhawk has a Hellcat engine in it. Oh, the trail cat. What is that? 
I know they're coming up with the Dodge Ram Rebel TRX or whatever that's going to have the Hellcat engine, but they still haven't released that. It's a blind and heist glitch still work. Yeah, 100%. Here we go, we're racing after the Vanishing Point race. Here we go. Eat up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I should have put this on non contact. People were having some issues back there. Need for Speed Mustang! Let's go! Oh, well, he'd have lost some traction there. Better acceleration from the Pisswazer variant. Vasquez hit him a little bit. Mike Spitfire up here in the cleat. And I'm in the old best muscle car. <laughs> Hopefully I can catch up to him with a top speed, but that cleat gets some insane uh, boost from the bumps. Oh, there's a U-turn here. I did not... I was not expecting that. Stop the speed! Oh, what happened behind me? Oh my god. Now, Mike Spitfire going at it with that vapid click. Jeez. I apologize I'm not reading the chat too much. This race requires a lot more focus than the other ones where it's just straight line for a long time. the way that Dominator drives with normal high-end wheels is you can feel when it's stepping out but it doesn't just randomly kick out and you lose traction. I, I really enjoy the way this car drives. Not the fastest anymore in the class unfortunately but the piss water is pretty close but that one I mean that one's I think it's a little too fast for what it is. Nothing could ever be too fast I guess it's just you know more control or whatever but definitely a lot harder to drive in this car. Need for speed versus that. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was like, where'd he go? Top speed! Come on, Dominator! Oh, I knew! I tried to thread the needle there and I messed it up. Sorry, Mike Spitfire, sorry. You play on... Do you like PC or PS4? I love PC, obviously, the graphics and everything. But, I mean, I feel like there's a larger community on consoles than there are on PC. For, you know, depending on the game, obviously, but... I don't know. I, I I think PS4 is a lot easier, more user friendly. For PC, I mean, I have a really good. I mean, I have a good build, but I mean, I don't know, it's a lot more difficult to play and all that. I, I really enjoy PS4. It's easy. It's simple. It's there's a ton of people to play with. Do 
you like United King UK cars? What you mean like British cars? Yeah. One dollar super chat from TK7. Ouch. Thanks. You missed a checkpoint? What? Oh, did I just win? I think the cage is. If, oh, that's Edom behind me. How you do? JDM or muscle cars? I'm gonna say muscle cars. Definitely not biased at all. At all. <laughs> yes! Yes, we did it Need for Speed Mustang. I think I was the only movie car in here. Our facility is worth it. Um, I mean, at this point in the game, I mean, if you want to host the um, Doomsday Heist and stuff, you kind of have to have it. Um, if you want to use the Orbital Cannon, which costs like what a million dollars a shot <laughs> for some reason, if you want to waste your money on that. You could have Rockstar at a car of your choice of a new DLC, what would it be? GT40, please. Please, Rockstar, for GT40. I've been wanting that car in the game for so long. You got Alan, Ida, we love me now, you should have been first. <laughs> got $2 super chat from Anonymous552. Thank you, I appreciate it. He's kind of got a shout out, or I just said your name. There you go. <laughs> Thank you for the two hours super chat. Why don't they let me add you? I had that setting turned off because I had like 2,000 friend requests at one point and it wouldn't even load properly. It was a disaster, so I just turned it off. You can send me messages though. I have that messages on. How to join the next car meet and races is all in the description. You like movie cars? Obviously, <laughs> yeah. You see my message on PS4, Josco. Yeah, I look at the messages after the stream. Obviously, I can't race, read the live stream chat, and do everything at once, and look at PSN messages. <laughs> I can't multitask that well. Are you gonna get the PS5 when it comes out? 100%. Yes. What's your dream car? My realistic dream car is 2005 Ford GT. What's the act? What's the Back to Bogdan High Glitch. Just look it up on YouTube. Just type in Bogdan High Glitch. What's your favorite Lamborghini? Mine's the Revents. My favorite Lamborghini. It's a good one. Mm, I might. Hmm. We got the Italian job race. My favorite Lambo. I mean, I would say. I would say the. Uh, hmm. Man, that's a difficult one. I, I'm to be honest, I'm really close between the Countach and the uh, what's the name of the other one? The Aventador from 2012. The Mercy SV is really nice too. It's just can I pick all three? <laughs> Remember invite sent out. What do you sell your ZL one? That one I might consider in the future. To be honest, the Hellcat's never leaving. Well, the ZL one's definitely one that's on the table but every time I, I stand in front of it and look at and I look at that front end I just I can't <laughs> the front end of that car is, is a masterpiece I, I love it I don't think there's any other car that's more aggressive than the front end of a Z01 okay Briozo time even though it's Italian job but if I pick an SE classic I'm gonna be like 10 years behind the Briozo so A favorite number on the nuclear launch codes. <laughs> you like if Chevy made a new Monaco Carlo SS? That'd be awesome. Dodge needs to bring back the CUDA. They need to stop messing around. They need to bring it back. How much does it cost to transport a car across the country? Um, I mean, my my Hellcat came from New York. I live in Lower Florida, in South Florida. That was um uh, like twelve hundred dollars across the country. Probably about three grand or so.
Italian job time. There's so many cars. Well, now we go into the uh, heist tunnels. A lot of people are spinning out. Your favorite DLC so far? I'm gonna say the uh, import export DLC. I think that's the most realistic DLC we've gotten out of all the GTA DLCs. <laughs> Live in South Florida. Live in oh, nice, dude. Yeah. Is the arcade worth it? Unless you're doing the heist, it's not worth it. Unless you're doing the... Um, and you have to have people to do the heist with you. At least one friend. I mean, it, you don't have to own it to do the heist. You can do somebody else's. You don't have to own it. There's not really that much of a need to own the arcade business. Oh my god. Oh, we both messed up, but I messed up worse than him. <laughs> oh, not through here. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, now we jump through. Okay. Interesting. Why the JB700 300k 1.3 for the other one? Because Rockstar Logic, that's why. <laughs> Damn, this guy, inevitable, he's really going. He knows these roads very well. Okay, through here. There's a pole there. Dang it. Oh, oh, well, I gotta go really slow there. Jeez. Well, he's he spun out a bit. Oh, he flipped. Oh my god. He flipped. Oh my god, this is so difficult. <laughs> this race is hard, man. <laughs> and Evanable's doing this race like nothing. Look at that. He's super far ahead. He's like, I got this. He's like, I got this. What is it going to be the next car meet? I, the car meet themes are based on the last car to release. From the drip feed. Oh my god, that corner was awful. If this race doesn't end at the train station like the actual movie, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Oh my god, this is so difficult. Am I going around this thing? Okay. It's actually pretty cool. I like this part. Jeez. Oh, the finish line's coming up. Second place, I'll take it. Woo! No train station, though. Come on, race creator. It was a fun race, though. Very technical. Well, at least we don't have AR-15. <laughs> Nightbot remove Elon. Oh my god. Best facility to make money? I don't get what you mean by that. So I have, if any two companies were to come together and make a supercar, what companies would you choose? Two companies to come together and make a supercar. Wow. That's a really. Okay, definitely Koenigsegg. Because they, I mean, they keep pushing technology. I'm going to say. Let me think here. Because I, I want to try to mix that with... Hmm. I'm going to say... Let me think here. Now, coming exactly with somebody else. I don't know who, though. Maybe maybe Pagani? But, I mean, they're kind of similar. Even though Pagani is more... 
it's got, got more luxurious touches to it and it's a little more like an art piece hmm How about Koenigsegg and McLaren? I wonder what kind of car would come out of that. <laughs> what is your username? It's at the top of the description. Wolf of Wall Street was definitely Testarossa. Wolf of Wall Street? No, it was the Countach. It was a white Countach. Who's the best YouTuber in show car? <laughs> Thanks, man. Longer content. You don't do any host car on Xbox One. YouTubers that host car on Xbox One, I have no idea. You can just, on YouTube, you can type in uh, GTA car meet, and then you can just see like whether or they're on Xbox or not. Eat up your prairies faster than my prairie. <laughs> Eat up wasn't a prairie? Nice. What's up, Snazzy? Oh, yeah, what's up? We had Gumball Rally. It was a race I created. Did this one on Sports Classics. Do noon. Contact on. Traffic off. For obvious reasons. Do, do, do. And we, this, we do have restricted cars here. So you, you just, you, we're not going to let you pick a Turismo Classic or anything like that. <laughs> Your favorite GTA 5 car, the Turismo R, is my favorite. Do you know that there's a 2L1 Camaro with electric goes to drift events? I did not know that. I think you meant 2LT, not 2L1, or maybe you meant ZL1. 2L1, oh my. I think you meant to say ZL1. <laughs> Wanna go? To join the carving, all the info is in the description. What do you think about the Civic Type R? Um, like I said, I, somebody asked this before. I respect the car, but I mean, the three sports at the rear is a little overkill. <laughs> My car is coming out next week. Uh, sh Let's see. Yeah, somebody asked me this earlier. Let, let me look at. Let me look. Pull up the list here. Uh, what would he ask again? What car is coming out next week? I mean, it should be the sword and classic. That's my guess. All right, I'm gonna pick movie car from this movie. I gotta do it. The Mamba, the cover car of the Gumball Rally movie. Yes, let's do it. I was gonna bring that car to the meet, but I brought that the time before last. Last time I brought the Black Countach from Cannonball Run. The time before that I brought the Mamba, and this time I brought the uh, Supra from Fast Furious 7 at the end of the movie. Any Rocket Bunny. Yeah, white body kits. Hopefully white body kits that don't leave the wheels inside. Please, Rockstar. What do you think about the Atala GTO car? It's the best sports car for stud races. Through the tubes, it goes ridiculously fast. Oh, I still, I, I still gotta fix, I still gotta fix that. If he spawned in the building, I'm sorry, I still gotta fix that. Woo! First turn. Oh boy. Ouch. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, hopefully on the grass I'm safe, right? Maybe not. Okay, okay. We got this, we got this. Alright, we got this. Here we go. Cobra tie. This car sounds so good. Bro, this guy hit the back of my car! Oh my god. A car that has no traction. <laughs> It's the back end of my car. I got the Cobra plate on there. I've had people ask, like, why doesn't it let me put Cobra on the iFruit app? For some reason, Rockstar banned that word, but you can just put a, uh, a zero instead of the O and it lets you. That's what I have on mine. There we go. 
Oh my god. Will you ever get a BMW M2? I, I love the car, I respect it, but I'm not I'm not really that much into German cars to be honest. That's like my, my favorite modern BMW is definitely the M2. What is the best muscle car in game for looks? That's very subjective. I mean, I'm gonna say either the Hellfire or the Gauntlet Classic. Definitely not biased at all. Through Buffy, early drive, all the free car, and so he doesn't like it drifts. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. We have the drift Tampa, but it doesn't drift. We're probably gonna get the drift because some of the doesn't drift either. Big fan of your channel. Thanks, Catherine. Appreciate it. What's up, Michael Lopez? How do you get custom license plates? You download the iFruit app on your in real life phone. You gotta specify because some people are like, oh, well, let me download the iFruit app on my GTA phone. What's wrong? You know, it's your real phone, not the GTA phone. <laughs> you find that in the app store. Type an iFruit app. And then download it, sign into your social club, and then go to the Los Angeles Customs icon, and then scroll down to where you find all your character's cars. And it will show your last 10 cars that you last used that were active. If you want a new car to appear there, you have to drive it around for like 10 minutes and then reopen the app. Flo from Switzerland, nice. What's up, Sir Lloyd? Can I train my Stromberg and get a Night Shark? Stromberg is a better vehicle than a Night Shark. You can't even use a Night Shark in races. Not, not to say that you can use a Stromberg in races, but, you know, the, the Night Shark is not really that useful. The Stromberg can take hits from missiles, it has missiles, it can go in the water. Much better vehicle. How do we join? All the info's in the description. Join the next one. Yeah, when you sell vehicles in GTA, you lose a lot of money. Oh, there we go. Damn, that car is fast. It's a Vestra. You have to set up a drag race. You can choose five muscle cars of your choice. I'm assuming he's saying real life. Um, a Demon, the new GT500. A ZL1, which will unfortunately lose to those two, <laughs> but it'll still be nice to see it in there. And... what else? I guess I'll throw a Red Eye in there, why not? And... Oh, and then a Charger with the Halifax engine in it. Just, just for fun. Thousand horsepower. My favorite GTA car, Turismo R. That's the most popular question I get in my streams. It's my favorite car in GTA. Damn, we're going fast now. Jeez, we got a crazy slipstream from there. This car sounds crazy at max like, at max speed. Sounds, sounds like the engine's gonna explode. <laughs> I'm gonna see a piston fly at the bottom of the block. <laughs> <laughs> like no <laughs> Rolls Royce or Bentley definitely Rolls Royce what is today's long haul it's uh, version 5 um, with restricted cars and it's going to be on sports classic I love that the top speed of the Coquette is amazing My in real life car. Oh my god, why you hit my car, man? Take it easy. The Challenger Hellcat. Oh my, why is it? Okay, you know, I'm gonna sit back here. Okay. Got the Cannonball Run Torero, the Kutosh catching up. <laughs> awesome. Did he just get. Oh, he almost got spun out somebody else. My crew name 
You, um, when you message me, I'll tell you the crew name. I just don't want people from Xbox sending me crew requests. Really, punishment? Really? Bruh. All right, now we gotta put some gas. Some gas in the tank. We're all filled up with gas in like two seconds. <laughs> Look at that. First place was right there. Okay. All right. Wow. I've never been this long in first place in one of these races with ketchup. <laughs> why is that one guy... Why is your muscle going the other way? Can he even get the checkpoint? I think he can. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. Curb boost. Well, kind of like speed bump boost, not really curve boost, but it works. Here comes the pack behind me. Jesus. <laughs> I, I love that Kutosh from Cannonball. Like, every time I see it, it just instantly pops in my mind. It's so cool. Go on this side. To avoid all that. Yep, yep, see, I saw it coming. That's, that's why I went on this side. A little more clear on this side. I'm gonna slow down so I don't hit these people crossing over. There we go. Is it worth to buy a Dodge in real life? What do you mean? You gotta, specif you gotta specify. I mean, in general, you know, Buying used cars in real life saves you thousands of dollars. I mean, I mean, if people were like, oh, I don't want to buy a used car. I don't know what the person did. I mean, you buy a low mileage. I mean, the chances of something being wrong with it is slim to none. Okay, I'm going on coming. I'm really sorry. I had to do that to get to, uh... Damn it! No! Give me the checkpoint. Oh my god. Okay, okay, come on. They can slipstream. I don't think I have a chance of catching up here. This makes you go faster, by the way, if you didn't know, going back and forth on the side of the, uh... Catching up. A little bit of an accident there. See pass? Oh my god. If you see cars in front of you slowing down, just slow down. We're just ramming to the back of them. Then you mess yourself up. Double clutch! Who's in first? e has gone. e has literally gone. Oh, the back end came out, of course. It's a Cobra. What did I expect? No downforce so whatsoever at the rear. Jeez. Your favorite GTA off-roader? I'm gonna say the Camacho, because of, like, the value you get for your money. I think that's the best bank for the buck in the game for off-roading. Oh, Jakey, no! He ruined it! Has your Hellcat been reliable? Well, it's only got 4,000 miles right now, so... <laughs> I, I got it with 3,000. I put 1,000 miles on it in about a year. Um, I mean, nothing's been wrong with it at all. When I first got it, though, it did have a, uh, a factory defect, which the first owner never noticed. And uh, the radiator was leaking fluid from the factory. So it had, like, a, a little, like, seam or something, so they had to replace that. But other than that, I haven't had any issues with it. Right, so Torero got first place, Sylvester got second, Coke had classic. Third, Torero, fourth, Sylvester, 
fifth, and me in sixth. Well, I was the only mob up here, so I'll take that. Only 1k miles in a year in a Hellcat? Yeah. I mean, I'd drive the ZL1 a little more. And then, some, and then, I mean, most of the time, especially where I live in Florida, it rains a lot, so, if, you know, most of the time it's raining, so I'll take my mother's Escalade or whatever, instead of taking one of my cars and dirtying it in the rain. Or if I drive somewhere far, I take her car instead of mine. You like rain? Try rain in a Hellcat. It's not that much fun. <laughs> All right, so now we come to the last race of a stream after this one, which is Long Haul. We always end it with Long Haul. We're going to do it on Sports Classics. What do you say is better, Audi or BMW? Currently, currently, I think I think Audi's doing a little better than BMW. I don't know. BMW, their prices have gone through the roof. I mean, their prices have gotten really insane. What's your Cobra based on? The one in your space off the Gumball Rally, Cobra. Dark blue. All right, sports classics with restricted cars. So that means that the um, you can't pick you can't pick the top cars of the class. Australian car Holden. Yes, I have. Mainly mainly because of Forza. <laughs> Pointer of people crashing behind. Oh my god. Remember invite sent out. What do you think about gesture racing? I don't know what you mean by that. You mean the gesture race car? Good car. When is the R34 going to be legal in the USA? Uh, it's a 20 year thing. I think I think we're like four years out, right? If I remember correctly, something like that. What's people's opinion on the F1 cars we're getting in GTA? I mean, pretty much everybody's excited for it. I want to see how they're, supposedly there's like tire wear and pit stops and stuff and different types of tires changing your traction. So I want to see how Rockstar incorporates that. So thanks, Zombie. Appreciate it. Favorite vehicle in GTA is for his more. Do you have any tips for making money? I mean, I do the Bogdan High Glitch. You can look it up on YouTube. 5 a.m. when I watch the stream. Now, where do you live that is 5 a.m.? Gamer tags at the top of the description. What car am I gonna pick? Rats and you mark two. Oh, that's that would be a really bad choice. How about the Torero? We can do a cannonball the entire race. <laughs> I, think, I think we should pick that one. Yeah, let's do it. So the top sports classics are out. You know, no Cheetah Classic, no Turismo Classic, no Rapid GT Classic, uh, no Z Type. So, yeah. R33s are legal in 2020. Wow. Okay. Mercedes GLS 63 AMG. I'm not really... I know, like, more, mainly the popular Mercedes, but I don't know that many of them. I don't even know what a GLS is. Maybe if I see it, I'll remember it. Mercedes GLS. Oh, that's that SUV. I mean, I guess it's okay. Cannonball! You buy shark cars? No. I've only ever bought a shark card once, and that was when the game came out. I bought a $20 shark card. What's your goal for 2020? As far as what? Like GTA, YouTube? I mean, for YouTube, I don't know. I mean, I honestly never thought my channel would get this large. <laughs> Not even. I don't mind. Never. Ever, ever, ever. I mean,. I, I never thought that, and here we are, at over 100,000 subs, and never thought that would happen. My goal for 2020 was going to be 200k subs, but we, we're already at 165, and we haven't even hit 2020 yet. So, I have no idea what the future holds, but I appreciate you guys for sticking around with me and enjoying the streams and everything. Who mods your account? My account's not modded. In my first ever video, I was ranked 300 and something, or like 200 and something. 
My my whole character is do literally documented on my channel. So I have all my evidence to prove that my account is not modded. What's your opinion about 2019? But in general, I mean, it's almost over, right? <laughs> it's been, I mean, it's been okay. Some crazy stuff has happened, but I think 2018 was a little better. What cars do I want in real life? A Challenger Hellcat and a Camaro Z01 2017. What cars in front of me? Oh, the car that wasn't in front of me was a Silvestra. What am I saying? No, um, Swinger. How did you get all that money? Bogged in high splits, you can look it up on YouTube. It gives you a million dollars in like 20 minutes. And if you're good at it, you can do it in 15 minutes. First time viewer here. What's up, gaming? Hope you're liking the uh, stream. How do you have a million GTA? I just answered that, so. I just probably just wanted to say, how was your day? Day's good, Marcos. Thank you, man. Happy New Year, Shaw. See you, man. What's up, Julie Grandy? Act who gives you one million in like five minutes. Yep. I mean, it depends on if you have the height, if you have the facility next to the at the top of the map. That's a lot faster, but it all depends. I mean, even though you have the skip function or whatever, but fastest I did Bogdan was 11 minutes. The fastest I've ever done it was I think it was like 12 minutes. I'm here to. Have you heard of C7R in person? I have not, actually. I've always wanted to. I've never heard any Corvette race car in person. I've heard the uh, Ferrari challenge cars in person. Those things are nuts. How do you get diamonds at Casino Heist? Rockstar hasn't um, released that yet as an option. They're saving it for some drip feed content. Who knows when they're going to do it, but they're saving it for some time. I'll let you guys know when that happens. Probably with the actual video. <laughs> the red setting you marked to in front of me? I think. Not the regular, that's the Mark II. I think Rockstar will ever patch Act 2. It's not really... I mean, they can make it harder for you to hit it, but it, they can't really fully patch it. Terminator, what, why do you keep going back and forth so I can't get your slipstream? Bruh. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What are you doing? Okay, no, I'm gonna switch in this guy. There. Damn you. <laughs> I try to put a horn, a horn on this, similar to the real Countach. That's like decently close, but it's not really a glitch if you think about it. I technically is a glitch because you're abusing an issue in the game to get money, but I mean, y your, arg your argument can be, you know, that you keep lagging out at the end of the heist, wink wink. <laughs> you have really bad internet, I mean, what do you, what do you want them to do, you know? <laughs> I, I didn't hit you on my screen. The dupe glitch that works around. I don't, I don't do dupe glitches because that's how you get caught, you know. But Rockstar loves 
banning people for doing those and putting them in bad sport lobbies and all that. What's your favorite car you've customized in GTA? Hmm. The Hellfire. <laughs> Not biased at all, again. The fastest muscle car in GTA. On a highway, it's the... The Pizwazer Dominator. Um, around a track, it's the Yosemite. Uh, in the city over bumps, I think it's still the Pizwazer Dominator. Or the Clique, depending on how many curb boosts and bumps you get. On a perfectly flat sun prop, it's the Hellfire. How to be better at racing in GTA Online. Um, the first thing I recommend doing is, is uh, learning about apexing. I think that's the most important thing that you can start doing at first. Um, once you kind of get decent at apexing, from there on out it's pretty simple. You just start combining curve boosting with it and that's it. And obviously, you know, your breaking points, breaking early before a turn. Always remember, it's better to break earlier than break too late. Because <laughs> then you obviously crash. Never met supercar suspects. I don't know who that is. What's been your favorite casino DLC car from this casino update? Um, I guess the, hmm, the Komodo. I guess. I don't really too many of it. I like so far. How does it feel by looking at the past couple weeks and getting like 12k subs? Yeah, I know, this, this update has been insane for my channel. I had my second video that's ever hit a million views. Um, I mean, a lot of, in the past 28 days, I think we've gotten like 20,000 subs or something ridiculous like that. So I can't believe you guys enough. It's been, it's been crazy. Definitely a few crazy couple weeks. Japanese car like in real life, R34. I hate to be that guy, but I just love that car. Is all the casino heist targets randomized? Um, for the most part, a, a lot of them are in the same place. You know, it, it just depends. Like, sometimes you have them that change uh, their, their, their shifts and all that, or if you have the guys that walk back and forth, sometimes they'll be further apart from each other or closer to each other. Or sometimes they'll glitch out and you have a camera stuck not moving or one of the guards stuck not moving, which gets really annoying. Cars, RB26. Yeah, that's sick. RB26 swaps so yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Have you won a car yet from the spin the wheel in the casino? Yeah, I've won a lot of cars. I won the Thrax, I won the um the Locust, I won the There's another one I won, I can't remember the name of it though. I think I think those are the only two I've won. Is that a Kuntosh? Yep. I try to make it, you know. In GTA is the Torero. Oh, I'm trying to make it as close as possible to the real one. Got the uh, stock wheels on there. Got the Countach plate I put. You have another car in mind for Need for Speed. Oh, like for the next one I'm going to customize? Um, I'm not really too sure at the moment. Usually I just kind of go through a dealership website thing. Or no, dealership list. And I just look and pick one that I like that I like and um, most of the time I look through the customization first to see if it has good customization before I make a video on it. You know I'm not gonna make a video of like two customization options, it's kinda boring. Favorite song? I don't have a favorite song, just that's that's too many. Jesus Pass me on the right side. That's ballsy. I was like, literally, barely a car fit on my right side, and he just went through there like nothing. I 
Love from Canada. Thanks, man. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Holy crap. That was quite laggy. Favorite rapper? I don't really listen to rap that much. Rap is not really one of my favorite genres of music. Can't wait for GTA 6. That's gonna... That game is gonna break gaming in general. It's gonna break records for literally almost everything gaming related. They were Fast and Furious movie, the first one. Oh, come on. How many cars do I own in GTA? Um, currently, I don't know the exact amount, but it's over 200. <laughs> I think it's like, I think I own like 215 cars or so. Got more on there. What do you do with 1 million in real life? I'd invest it. <laughs> I'd probably buy like... I'd buy like, I don't know, four houses and rent them out. <laughs> Just sit back collecting rent. <laughs> Literally Monopoly in real life. What year is your charger? Not a charger, it's a challenger. <laughs> 2015. Challengers of 2015. Need for Speed Mustang is really cool. Oh, thanks, man. He, um, but he saw it. In the Who was that? Punishment! Stop hitting me! You literally you hit me off the track like three times. What color is your Dual Shock? I have the new one, the um, Diamond Blue. I think it's called. What's it called? EW? I don't know. EW's like the one that knows Titanium Blue. Yeah. Titanium blue new, um, my new PS4 controller. I love it. Really nice. Before that, I had the gold one, which that's been my favorite. The matte gold one. Out of all the controllers I've had, that's my favorite by far. It's your boy, Red Lambo. <laughs> Cannonball run. Oh my god. Damn it. Eat up. Bruh. Is an elite controller worth buying? For what? PS4, they don't make elite controllers. They could take an Xbox. They do? Not, not from Sony, though. Drive! Who's in the green car? Move! Stop blocking it! Bruh. Oh my god. Bruh. You should race rough. I raced them before in the past. You see, is your is this a PS4 player now? Yeah, I, I play on PS4 on Xbox. PS4 controller is basically an elite Xbox Elite controller, my god. That's another good sounding car, the Sterling GT. I think that was the first car we ever got that had the cracks and pops from the exhaust. What do you edit your videos with? Adobe Premiere Pro. That's what I have my videos with. I have the student version, it's like like 20 bucks a month, but it, it includes Photoshop, Premiere Pro, literally all of, of the Adobe products they make.
When is the car meets? I do the car meets every single Saturday, 9.15 p.m. Eastern Time. And the theme changes every single uh, week based on the last Strip Feed car that released. Have you challenged someone to race you in your challenge? Yeah, I raced the um, AMG uh, C63, the, the bi-turbo one. He had a tune on it, and I, I beat him on the highway. On my Hellcat stock. <laughs> 707 horsepower for the win. That's pretty much all the Hellcat can do. Be fast on the highway, because from a stop, it just spins in every single gear. <laughs> <laughs> What rank am I? 974. I had the same account since 2013 when the game came out, so... I still find it like... For people, they assume my account is modded. I mean, I've been playing this game for over six years. Uh... <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> There's people that I know that are ranked... Like, what was like 1300 legit. I don't think don't like PS4 controllers because of a stick layout. Yeah, some people don't like the stick layout, how one of the, uh, the they're both aligned with each other. But I mean, once you get used to it, I really enjoy it. What do you think of the whole audio uh, audio the whole auto versus manual debate? Um, I mean, this is something that some people you know uh, I think the first person I heard say was Street Speed, but I know it's been said by many other people. Autos win races, manuals for fun. <laughs> are you into lowriders? I own a 1965 Chevy and Paul. I like, I mean, yeah, those are nice. I'm not like 100, like super, super into lowriders, but I mean, I think they're cool, yeah. PS4 suck. Well, considering PS4 has been purchased by more than double X the, the Xbox One uh, console amount, I think the community says that they like the PS4 better, so... <laughs> You're outvoted! <laughs> uh, sales do speak for themselves. I'm the Jedi player. Yep. What do, what do I think of the new Corvette C8? I think it needs a little more... It needs a little more to it. I feel like it's missing something. I think the Z06 will kind of fill that in. Um, I have hope for the Z06. In its current state, I don't really like the Stingray that much. The current C8. The Z06, you know, based on their previous patterns, it should be wider, more power, better looking wheels, because the fact the wheels, on the, I think they're awful on that car. Um... Maybe a nice big rear spoiler, different exhaust tips. It was cheaper, you get the money, but if you got my flux is better. <laughs> I, I know there's the whole PS4 versus Xbox debate. I personally prefer PS4. It's all, you know, it's all preference based. When are you doing the car meet? The car meet was at the beginning of the stream. Um, that's why it says and racing, which means the car meet was at the beginning. What's your dream car? My realistic, semi-realistic dream car, the 2005 Ford GT. I will agree with that though. There definitely is um, on Xbox. There's a, there's definitely a lot more uh, older people that play it than on PS4. Okay, you don't have to spam it. <laughs> hmm. 
highlight of GTA is for 2019. Um, I was gonna say the Doomsday Heist, but that came out in December of 2018, so scratch that. Um, I guess the Casino update. I think that's the highlight of 2019. For GTA. What year is Doug's GT? Well, the GT was only made in 05 and 06. I think his is in 05. And there's no difference between them, by the way, so... It's kind of cool that they did that, because most people want to have the first or last year of the car, so... Ford, they did, you know, it doesn't matter which one you have, they're both worth the same amount of money. That's awesome. Has anybody seen the, um, I think the, the, uh, the contract you had to sign with Ford if you bought one of the 2017 Ford GTs and new ones, that you can't sell it for two years, and now that that contract's over, there's people selling them online and stuff for like a million dollars or two million dollars, that is ridiculous. I mean, that's, that's just, their whole process of handpicking owners didn't work now, did it? <laughs> Dodge should make a Chrysler 300 with a Hellcat engine in it. I, I, they, they, re they really should have done a 300 uh, Hellcat. I think a lot of people would have purchased that. Overrated God. Who? <laughs> John Cena sold his after a few months. He he did he did that even though he wasn't supposed to. Um, but he he fought it legally, which cost him a lot of money and lawyers and stuff. But he won the battle because. Technically, the law states that you can sell something when you own it. Oh, rip. Who was that? Who was in the orange? I don't even know who it was. Do you think GTA 6 is taking long? From what I've been told and what a lot of people are speculating is that the reason we're taking so long is that they're waiting for the next-gen consoles to release first so that they have better hardware to support the kind of game they want to put out. So, long, to make it, to make the answer short, they're waiting for PS5 and the next Xbox. Thanks for the free tank video on Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> kind of cool how Rockstar did that. Usually they give us a car. This time they give us something very different, to say the least. That won't give me a slipstream. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I messed that up so bad. Can I still catch up? No, that's the question. Oh my god, I won't do the loop. I just messed my... I just, I just lost because of that. <laughs> Please. Uh-oh. I'm gonna blow it. Oh, okay. That's 100% my fault. I'll take the L for that. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Yes! Damn, I went from 1st to 10th, 11th. Oh my god. I'm not 10th position. That's a big F. My favorite supercar is the... Damn, I was trying so hard to get the slipstream from the, uh, the swinger, and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. That's my fault. 100%. Oh, I'm gonna blast my 2019. <laughs> you ever done a rope? I don't, I don't do rope play videos. I'm not really into that too much. So many Fs in the chat, jeez. 10 positions in 10 seconds. <laughs> that went from, yeah. Went from 1 to 11. Do you like Supras? I feel like they're kind of overrated. I like it. I like Supras. I think they're cool. Mainly because of the engine, obviously. And that manual was literally bulletproof. Your opinion on the GT500? Uh, the new one or the... Which one? The new one? I'm assuming you're saying the new one. It's very, very fast. I just hate the way it looks. <laughs> the 350R looks a lot better, in my opinion. Isaiah, you're kind of hot, bruh. Have a good year tonight. Oh. 
See, it's on legend. I feel like the Emirates is the best race car, is it? Uh, the Emirates and the Krieger are the top two for supercar races. Rank 1000 before 2020? I doubt it. That's not gonna happen. I'm, I don't really care so much about my rank. What's your opinion on Lamborghini possibly switching from a V12 to a supercharged V8? They should not do that. <laughs> you sound like Seth Rogen. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I do. I don't. This is still going. Yep. Well, this is the last race of the stream. We just finished it. Best race to game in my opinion? Um, uh, Test Drive Unlimited 2. My favorite car game. It's hot in Florida. Yes, it is. Not oh, snow is gonna. Can I finally hot laugh nice? Seth Rogen is my favorite actor. Oh my god. What is your Hellcat top out at? Hellcat's top out at about 200. And the Charger does like 2, 203 or something like that. And the Challenger does like 201 or 200 flat, something around there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, movie Car Me. Rest in peace, Paul Walker's Super that I just destroyed. <laughs> All info is in the description if you want to join the next one. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next Saturday.